In this video, I'll show you how we can change the IP address of the Proxmox virtual environment. One of the node is already configured. So I'll show you how we can change the IP address of the node. In data center, you can see only one PVE is right now connected. I'm looking at the server tree view. So I can expand this and I can see all the storage types and all other devices. And you can also see here local network that will show you here. So I have VMBR0 and VMBR1. These are two local networks here. And if I want to change the IP address of VMBR1, right now you can see here the IP address is 192.168.240.105. I want to change the IP address of this. I'll click here on PVE because this is related to this particular node. So I'll go to PVE, Network, and here you can see VMBR0 and VMBR1. VMBR0 is different network. So Ceph is connected using VMBR0, but this network, VMBR1, which is having the IP address 192.168.240.105. Uh, you can see here that the IP address is not provided to the physical network card because the virtual bridge is connected to the physical network card. And here also virtual bridge is connected to the physical network card. So we'll be giving the IP address to virtual bridge or VMBR. And here, instead of 105, I'll be changing the IP address, which is 192.168.240.2. Rest, everything will remain same. I'll press OK. And now apply the changes. And yes, now it will be changing the IP address. And of course, now the IP address has been changed. So I will not be able to access this. And if I try to ping, 192.168.240.105. I won't be getting any response, but if I get the response from 192.168.240.2, I'm getting the response here. So I need to now access it using 192.168.240.2. And here you go. So IP address is changed. And I'll be able to log in using the new IP address here. So you can see here. The IP address has been changed. If I go back here to PVE network VMBR0, the IP address was same. But if I go to VMBR1, the IP address is 192.168.240.2. Uh, similarly, I can also change the IP address for uh, VMBR0, which is 192.168.100.105. Instead of 100.105, I want to use 100.2. OK. Apply the changes. And that's it. So we have now got the server up and running with the new IP address. Changing IP address was simple. Let us continue to the next video and see what other configurations can be done.